Hi everyone. So since I opened up the whole satanic panic thing with uh, Harry and Meghan, more has come out and I just want to share it with you. So I do find it interesting because after watching the Sons of Sam, a lot of things. Anyways, and it brings Harry and Meghan into it. So Oprah Winfrey's subtle hint to bestseller during Prince Harry interview. So Oprah gave a subtle hint to her own best-selling book during an emotional interview with Prince Harry. All right, here we go. The pair have created a new Apple TV series um, called The Me You Can't See, in which they discuss mental health. Both Harry and Oprah opened up about their personal experiences of trauma and the stigma on mental health. And at one point, Oprah uses the phrase that is the title of a book she released this year along with Dr. Bruce Perry. What happened to you? All right, so she's plugging a book that she just wrote with a Dr. Bruce Perry. And I believe this is him right, no, not Harry, him right here. So who is Dr. Bruce Perry? This is what someone else, thank you to the person who pointed this out to me. He is the husband of Arliss Perry who was in the Sons of Sam documentary. She was brutally murdered in a satanic way by a satanic group uh, back in 1974, I believe it was. She was 19-year-old newlywed. She was murdered on October 13th, 1974, which they said was the birthday of Aleister Crowley and John Carr, who was also a member of this cult. So basically, now some people believe that, and that's her. She was a very religious girl, and apparently she tried to convert some of the Satanists in her hometown in North, North Dakota, which was near Minot, which was a very a hotbed of a Satanic group. But anyway, some people... Now, initially, when there's a murder, the, the husband's always the first suspect, right? But this murder was really brutal. I mean, they stabbed her with an ice pick behind her head. They jammed, you know... Uh, it was in a, in a church, and they jammed candles in her. I mean, it was really brutal. It wasn't like a murder of a husband and wife getting into a fight and, you know, losing control. This was, yeah, this was a satanic. So the point is, some people blamed him at first, but it wasn't. He had blood on his shirt, but it turned out he had a nosebleed. And, yeah, I kind of don't believe it either because I don't think I don't think the husband did it, put it that way. I, I just don't believe that. Um you know, anyone who would murder, like, the way they murdered her, that was an experienced murderer, you know, the person, you, you don't just, yeah, and, and he was 19 years old at the time, he didn't have a record, he didn't have a history, whoever did this murder, it wasn't their first murderer, okay, this was someone who was an uh, experienced murderer who had no conscience, and it was brutal, and, uh, yeah, you don't just, you know, suddenly, out of nowhere, murder someone like that, unless you have a history, you know, so, yeah, that's why I, I totally don't believe that the husband did it, but, Oh, and the killer was determined to be the security guard who could have been part of the cult, Crawford. Um, they they narrowed it down to him because of DNA that was left on Arliss Perry's uh, jeans that she was wearing. So I think it was determined that, and when the and it shows in the documentary when the police went to arrest or question the security guard who is now seventy two years old, he shot himself before the police could get in. So, yeah, so it looks like it was the security guard. They don't know how or why, but the security guard did have a copy of Maury Terry's book, The Ultimate Evil, which discussed this in the whole satanic cult. So, kind of very interesting. So, uh, the fact of the matter is he was, she was murdered, and and out later, it turned out that he has a whole listing in his book. Maury Terry wrote a book, The Ultimate Evil, and he lists uh, all the ways that he finds the connections between the son of Sam and this murder here that was in Stanford University in 1974. So apparently this is all part of the process church. The whole group is based in L.A. So I find it very interesting that uh, during this Harry Me You Can't See, I mean, this is just coming out now, right? Just at the same time that the Sons of Sam documentary is coming out. And Oprah now... Oprah's plugging the book of the man whose wife was murdered in the, by the Sons of Sam group, the satanic group, and she works with him. So it's just a coincidence or something more going on here, but I find it very interesting that a person associated with the Sons of Sam and that whole satanic cult, the Process Church, 
is connected with the Harry and Oprah show, The Me You Can't See. Yeah, so I find that very interesting. Again, thank you to the person who pointed this out. So there you have it. So in, in the Apple TV program, uh, this man who is associated with the Sons of Sam is in the podcast. Yeah. Because apparently now, uh, Arliss Perry's husband, Dr. Bruce, is now a doctor. He's, he's considered a renowned brain development and trauma expert. Yeah, because obviously he was traumatized when his wife was murdered. So, and some people find him very creepy, but <laughs> I don't know. I haven't watched it, so I don't know. All right, so that's all I wanted to say. So thank you for watching. Bye-bye.